Hello everybody, it's Everall 24 for another episode of Golden Sun Dark Dawn. In the last episode we got to clean a forest and found out that one of the trees is sick and uh, we're gonna be asking, this lady asked for uh, some help. Also, I'm pretty sure she's severely attracted to Isaac. It's just kind of the vibe that I got last time. Wonderful! Probably gonna replace that with the with the thing if I remember. If not, still. Let's get started then. Let's get it started, huh? Let's get it started in here. How did we arrive at this situation exactly? <laughs> Freeze frame record scratch. I bet you're wondering how I got into this situation. Dovey Jr. could be talking to anything, that's how. The saviors of this village. And we will be sleeping on the ground like animals? Sorry, bare ground is all we have. This is the only place close enough to the dream tree for it to work on you. What was that for? Looks like the dream leaves you ate are starting to take effect. Yeah, so uh, we are going to solve everybody's problems by getting high! How can you tell? You're starting to look sleepy. In addition to affecting your dreams, the leaves bring sleep. Toby Jr.'s yawning is contagious. He's got me doing it too. Uh, I can barely keep my eyes open. The paragraph is starting to feel pretty comfortable. Yes. Sleep well, children. My prayers go with you. Well, those leaves didn't work at all. They just made a hole in the ground. And we got flushed down the toilet. Also, we're really high right now. And we're also in the Phantasmal Bog. The Phantasmal Bog has three chests and some somehow it has a gin in here. Alright, so this is this is like a dream world. This isn't This isn't like like uh in in uh, Mother Three, where you're just kind of hallucinating through a part of the game, but it's it's a real area. You're just seeing it differently. No, this is this is a dream area, and there's a Ginny in here. I don't get it. Is this maybe it's supposed to be below the tree, and we're just seeing it funny? But that's not how the game presents it. The game presents it as we took a whole load of psychedelic drugs, fell into a deep drug-induced coma. That we're somehow all experiencing this. We're essentially on LSD. You can't get Jenny from LSD. Also, hi, alligator. How you doing? Can't get there, can we? No, it's just out of our range. Yeah, anyway, I, I don't know. Maybe the Jenny is just, like, our acid trip as well. Can you not follow us? You having fun over there? Whoa! Dude! He's using Synergy on us? That's crazy. Can you not? Can we do anything to him? Nope. He's not even upset or angry or anything. He's just looking at us like that. I thought we got into a battle with him for a second. No, a succubus. Because, you know, we're having a LSD dream, so of course all four of the party members of here are dreaming of a succubus. Karis can dream about succubi too. I don't mind. I like that the fact that the succubus actually is in like the cursed LSD bog, though. There's just something funny about that to me. You wanna push you wanna you wanna push it? 
But yeah, this place is weird. It's kind of like the dream world for Gandaroof or whatever his name is in uh, uh, Breath of Fire 2. Except less towns and stuff. Or I guess it's like the first the first game also had a dream sequence. That was inside um, the mole guy's head. What was his name? I forgot the mole character because he was like the worst character in the game aside from the fact that you confused him uh, onto Karn. But yeah, this is a very interesting area. At least we were past that stupid guy, right? <laughs> There's not much we can do here for now. But we head up, uh, head up the middle. Yeah, there's nothing we can do there. Nothing we can do there. So we head up the middle over here, and there's one of these. It's a fancy little leaf. Luckily, it has a little water puddle in the middle, which means that we're gonna freeze. No, obviously, we can use arid heat on it. can't hop onto it, that stinks. Uh, but there's a lot more to explore here now. Like getting a treasure. Some mint. Is there something for us to push? Why is there a hole in the ground here? I feel like we're gonna be dropping something down to push or something like that. But let's give that to Dovi. I know I said I was gonna be giving everything to Karis, but have to. You know, Karis already has the Elven shirt, so that at least maybe we can give a break for. But uh, so let's reposition these logs. I think this one doesn't move. That one doesn't move either. So. Let's move this. Let's see, so that's gonna go across. And this doesn't serve any purpose, so let's push it back. And I think we refill the water now, right? Yeah, we've pretty much done everything else we could do here. We can't go there just yet. It's back! I do like how this place looks, aside from the fact that there are mushrooms everywhere. Um, it has a nice aura of LSD decay. And a fairy vest. Mushrooms and fairies, my two favorite things. I thought that said baby clothing for a second. Used to restore 200 health. That's not what I wanted to equip. You put that right back on, lady. Young lady. Why can you only equip everything? My god, why can't you just... Reef, wear women's clothing! She doesn't need it. Let's give that to you. I hate it when Reef can't wear women's clothing. You know, uh, what? Oh, you know what? I, I was supposed to have it over there. Whoops. Uh, you know, I'll just cut. Anyway, I was saying, Reef, I think your mother would be very disappointed at your lack of fashion sense and your willingness to try new things. Besides, we're in a battle uh, with a creeper. Creeper! Sorry. Uh, we're, yeah, you know, this, this is why I don't use you. You just, you don't fit your archetype. You should be able to, to wear stuff like that. What's wrong with this stupid vest? Just because it's pink? Pink used to be a manly color, Reef, okay? You bring shame upon our whole party, okay? If Dobie Jr. wasn't a warrior, he would totally wear that. Right, Dobie Jr.? He doesn't talk, but he says yes. I don't think I wanted to do that. 
Can we use... No, we can't use move on that. Uh... Okay, so obviously we have to get to that guy. How do we do that? Let's let's re let's reset that. Okay. Um first thing we do is make sure we stop stuff here so that this log doesn't Excuse me, said this log doesn't just go all the way to a point where we can't reach it anymore. And I believe now we are going to push it downward. And now what? Can we we do anything with that? Oh, right. So now let's... Let's freeze this. Right? Go all the way around. Unfreeze that. I think. No, that's not where I wanted it to go. One second. Let's... Okay, first of all... Setting that to R. Freeze this. Next. Uh, no, I screwed this up. One second. Destroy that. Push this back up. What we need to do is get that log that that's this log on top of this ice thing. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm, how I'm supposed to get to the log over here. Do I, can I use move on it? I don't think so. No. Can I just walk into it from down here? Really? Stupid game. Okay. This is a lot easier than it, than than I presented it to be, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyway, hello. Look at your little mane over there. Anyway, we have another Jenny to fight. This Mars Jenny, finally Mars Jenny, has 563 health. Weak to water, obviously. Uh. Use a regular attack then, since we just have fire. You, eh? Yeah, use a regular attack. I don't have any water jet now. Uh, you and you can use Dunberg. Nice. Ow. And just a few more attacks should kill it go. And Karis leveled up. Hooray! And Amity leveled up. Hooray! Oh. Oh. It's like a cape or something he has. He looks cute. Glare. The Marginny Glare is joined you. Glare. This light spirit is first encountered at the Dream Tree. Glare emits light intense enough to blind and injure an enemy. I guess in a place where we're, we're, look at his little shoes! In a place that we're having a, uh, drug-induced, uh, LSD dream, I, I guess that's somewhere, somewhere to put him. Uh, yes, okay, so he's a berserker now too, so he gets, uh, planetary as well as some nice stat boosts, so that makes me happy. One sec, uh... 
So what happens if I give you guys the same treatment of... Nope. Of just having one here. You become sages, right? That doesn't do much for anything here, but... Amni's so much weaker when he's not an Aqualord. It stinks. 278. So let's see, her attack's gonna be 278. So, let me just see how it is as their base things. It's 250, so it's not that much of a difference, but it is, a, it is 236 for him. Eh. I'm sad that there's not something better I could do for them, you know? Get up. Yep, up, up, up. There we go. Anyway, that's that's it for that area. <laughs> now, maybe even more puzzles. Hooray! Now, in here, we are going to go this way. The other way is a dead end. We can fall down there. What does that do for us? No, we do not want to fall down there. Uh, we do, however, want to push this and, I guess, then fall down. <laughs> yeah, remember that? That's right, so there's nothing else we can do up here right now, correct? Okay, Dovey leveled up to 24 and learned Curse. Tyrell leveled up as well. Yeah, there's nothing else here. Okay, so let's jump down here. Reef levels up or something, I don't care. Anyway, now we head down here. And we head back up over here. And this time, instead of evaporating everything, we be freezing it! Whoa, 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 calm down. Well then, uh, yes, yeah, so now that we have dropped that pillar down there and we could not move the pillar, but now that we've dropped it, we have a way to navigate across the puzzle to the door over there. Like this. Otherwise we would have just been stuck. But man, that is a nice puzzle. Uh, now, Gonna head out all the way over this way. It's really the only way we can go. Uh, we run to a Chimera Mage! The Succubus can, I think, try to confuse your party members or something. It, it tried to do, it tried to attract them, but it didn't work before. Sword of Dusk got its critical strike, that's good. Hopefully it'll get its regular attack soon. I really like Arrow Shower, and apparently it drops defense, so that's nice. Also, we're getting nice amounts of experience all of a sudden, so we might level up a bit more. Uh, another ice puzzle. Cannot go past there, so let's do this. I see a chest in the middle. I have a feeling we will not be able to get to that chest right away. Are my suspicions correct? Survey says, no, we can do it. Just have to figure out how. Like this. <laughs> That's easy. No, wait. <laughs> I was incorrect. Massively incorrect. Maybe we go around from this side. Amity leveled up. There we go. What do we get? What do we get? I had to walk up a little before I realized I was standing there. A giant axe. Giant axe. Stone justice. Wow, stone justice, really? Berserk rush and meltdown. Goodness gracious. Uh, yes, that's replacing the Vulcan axe. We already have Stone Justice because we had Themis's axe, so that's cool. I like that they're recycling that, honestly. Um, yeah, cool, neat. 
Neato. Neato! Let's make our way uh, back over here so we can go out this door. And up and around so we can push this. Convenient. Convenient battles. Carrots leech level 24 as well. Convenient way to backtrack is what I was trying to say before I was so rudely interrupted. And <laughs> there's the ice pillar that we made a while back. I like that it's reaching up this way. Guys, Tyrell actually died. Somebody actually died. I just want to point out. So we actually have to use, like, things like Revive and Healing Wind. Isn't this not up? He's not gonna make that. Bye, Tyrell. David Jr. leveled up. Yeah, isn't that cool? We actually have to, like, use something to revive someone for once. I'm speechless. Let's use up all of Reef's synergy, because why not? Let's use grab over here. Grip, excuse me, I'm sorry. And melt this back down. I wonder if that thing that we saw in the water that was using uh, Crush, or whatever it was, uh, yeah, the thing we saw in the water got frozen as well. It's probably not happy. Not like we'll ever see it again, but it's probably not happy. I wouldn't be happy too if someone suddenly froze my bog. My swamp! Anyway, we're back here now. Near the first room. Uh, okay. So... Is this an... This is a new doorway, right? I think so. Oh, no, this is the first room. Cool. Alright. Oh, no, not another one of these. Oh. Jump! Oh, we're stuck now. Where this... Where did this insane maze and this horrible lizard monster come from? Perhaps the golden sun event moved Kalima on top of a swamp with a wizard, uh, wizard where the lizard lived. So maybe this talk about Kalima being cursed just comes from this lizard trying to get revenge. Guys, we're high. As crazy as that sounds, that might actually be the truth. Either way, there's a monster here. Guys, we're high. Look out! Get ready, everyone. I hate lizards, snakes. Why do they have to be snakes? How about you, monster? For boss time against the shield sludge, yeah, sludge and shield skull and haunt skull. The sludge has 1,906 health, is weak to winds. The haunt skull has 416 and the shield skull has 320. You're gonna want to take those skulls out because they're jerks and they can cast annoying things at you. Uh, but what we're going to do is, uh, you know, what? we're good. Let's planetary the uh, the shield the the skulls away. Uh, you're weak to wind, so we can do that. Let's use planetary on you, and you can hit something that hits everybody as well. Use something. That hits them. Yeah, so they buff up the uh, the main guy. Intergalactic planetary, planetary intergalactic. But yeah, we're gonna use all our genie up. We probably could have tried summoning him into oblivion, but I don't think that would have worked with the skulls there. Uh, I would like to get Ulysses up, though. We'll see if we can actually get that going. Uh, brick, bark, yeah, let's use brick. They'll get our defense up. Drop your resistance. Claw. Got a fever. And yeah, he can use Crush on us, which is a battle synergy, apparently. I 
So we got our, our defense up a little there, so that's good. Uh, let's forge. You can use... Stop enemy movement. That's not going to do anything. Sarek, it's not going to do anything either. Okay, good. That's going to stop his movement. I mean, it's, it's going to hurt him, but it's not going to insta-kill him, obviously. Okay, I guess he hit himself! <laughs> uh, that... Actually, uh, we can summon Ulysses now, right? Let's... We'll have... We'll have Amity use that. We also got Moloch. Did we see Moloch yet? I don't remember. I don't remember if we even saw Flora. That doesn't... Okay, yeah, you can use Flora. Um, I'll actually look back in episodes for this one. Uh, you can use... Use Glare. And you can summon Ulysses. Let's see. Let's see if I remember this. I don't think I showed this one yet. It's like, how many boss fights have we been in, you know? It just turns into a magical girl anime. Should do a nice amount of damage, though. Eh. Hey there. This is very different from the uh, original. Yeah, see, that's what we saw before. I like this version a lot better. <laughs> There's Fury with his wandering souls. And he's calling Skull. Shield, of course he calls a Shield Skull. Did he die? Oh. I thought we would uh, need another round for that. Okay. Cool. 87.35. Nice. <laughs> Drinks all around! No, level ups all around anyway. Rel, Amity... <laughs> Even Reef. Reef is way under leveled, but that's because if you're out of the party you get less uh, experience, I think. We dragged it out, apparently, or... It wasn't a dream? The lizard thing, we beat it, right? This was that horrifying monster? I'm confused, which part was the dream? So... You saw the monster? You saw the monster? There's a monster, right? I knew it! Look over in the corner, the dream tree's face looks all surprised, too! That reminds me, I need to water it soon. Do you have any water on you? What am I saying? You beat the monster. You've done enough. Oh my god, lady. Calm down. I, I, listen, you're like 40 or 45 or 50 or something. I'm, I'm 16, okay? I have, I have a girlfriend, probably. It's either Sveta or Karis. It's somebody. It's, one of them is gonna, okay? I'm gonna tell the whole town. She said, please. I suppose if the thing has haunted my dreams for who knows how long, I too would be off kilter. That's right, the whole town's gonna love us after this. They were all having nightmares. Well, I'm glad we could help him out. Shall we head out here? Oh, don't forget the tusk thing. Let's ignore it! Hey. The roots of the poor dream tree seem that's seen the worst deterioration. Uh, who has it? Luckily, we were given... Doby has it? Oh, cool. Hermes water! This is so fortunate and lucky for us.
looks sick. You can't save the dream tree. He's right, Flesh Guys. Dream Tree. This is the source of the dream leaves that grant pleasant dreams. It is also one of the great trees that Kalima Village is built into. Hermes Water has cured the disease that ravaged the dream tree, and its leaves are healthy again. <laughs> Who said that? Also, I like the new Kalima Vill- Oh, God! Did we get another- another Ginny so soon? Huh? Who are you? You look like an addict, but you don't know a Ginny when you see one? Not the right in the foot. I see you've even got- I see you even got a few Venus Gin with you. What, am I funny looking at something? Forgive us, we weren't actually looking for Gin inside the tree. Or, indeed at all. Whatever. You have to be wet behind the ears to miss me, though. You guys really need to work on your sense of humor. I'll tell you what, I'll wink when it's time to laugh. God, why are Ginny so sassy? Are you here simply to annoy us, or have you come with a purpose? Ah, dry up, Mr. Wet Blanket. Look, if you have business with us, out with it. Otherwise, we'd appreciate it if you leave us alone. Why are you guys being so rude to the Ginny? We've been collecting these things that have been making us powerful! Fine, fine, a little of my message stop bringing a sense of joy and laughter to the world. <laughs> I like this guy. For saving, for saving the dream tree, I most humbly thank you, yakety schmackety and all that. Yakety schmackety? What are you talking about? Yeah. Laurel said some other stuff too, I can't remember what it was. You can ask when you see her. Wait, Laurel's a girl? What? Alright. Laurel, this member of the Welder tribe, they have a name now, is one of the guardians of Kalima Forest along with Tret. Her emissary, Pewter, had some trouble remembering his manners. <laughs> yeah, she'd love to talk to you guys. Head to Kalima Forest. Can't miss it. So, Laurel's in Kalima Forest. I thought we couldn't actually get through there. You beat the big lizard, right? You should be, you should be good to go then. He was the problem with the forest. Nothing Laurel did. See you later. Don't keep the big lady waiting. Bye. What was that all about? I suppose he was a messenger for this Laurel person. So who's Laurel? Someone important enough to have Jin as messengers. The Forest Elder, perhaps? We know who Laurel is. Great, someone else that tells what to do. I smell a diversion again. I think we should go. Whoever Laurel is, she's gone to the message of sending a me she's gone to the trouble of sending a messenger to find us. It's been a long day. So we should return the favor, right? Eh. Yeah, why don't we have to get her if she's so grateful? I don't understand. Let's 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 stop for this for a second, and the episode's getting a little long. I don't understand what the hell happened to us. Like, we, like, Karis and, and Amity and Dovi and even Reef to an extent, Tyrell's always been Tyrell, but, like, we were nice people. We're like, yeah, let's help people, let's be nice. And ever since we got to, like, the border town, like, when we met the pirates, we turned into jerks! Like, I guess we're getting, uh, we're getting, uh, uh, antsy about actually getting to Creighton and stuff, and, like, I, I understand that I'm being snarky, but, like, Everyone's turned into jerks. We're all just angry at everything. We don't want to do nothing anymore. What the? What happened? Why are we so angry? Never heard anyone could use Jin messengers. I'm excited to meet this person. As am I. You collect your collective curiosity. It's beginning to rub off on me. I must confess. All right, let's go meet ourselves a forest elder. But that's going to do it for- that's gonna have to wait till next episode. And, uh, what- what is this over here? You'll have to find out in the next episode, so thank you all very much for watching. Yay! This has been Sephiroth's Old 4 with Dark Cliffhangers. Goodbye, everybody! Bye bye